I'm gonna show you guys how I got this $1,000 sneaker for free. That's right, I traded up and I ended up getting the shoe for free. Welcome back to the channel. What's up with you guys? My name is DJ and if you didn't know, this is The DNA Show. Hey! Now today, obviously, we're gonna get right into the topic because everybody wants to know, how did you get a $1,000 shoe for free? Let's go ahead and dive into it. Let's break down the process and let's start from beginning to end and go from there. So two of the shoes I no longer have anymore because I got rid of them to get this shoe. So we're gonna pop up pictures as I tell this story. But basically I had the LeBron 8 Christmas edition and there was a lot of hype around those shoes in that time. You had the KDs, you had the LeBrons, you had the Kobe's and all of them were hitting for a good price. Well, as you guys also remember in that time, in that era, the South Beach LeBron 8 came out and it was kind of sitting for a bit and then it started to shoot up in price. Well, I caught it right before it started to shoot up in price. So I had the Christmas LeBron 8, that was a hot thing, need to have shoe. It came out at Nike Town, I waited out, I camped out, I got one of each and every shoe from the package that came out in the Christmas Nike basketball pack. My homie ends up hitting me up a couple weeks later and he's like, yo, I got these South Beach LeBrons. I ended up picking them up from the employee store. I don't really want them, but I really want those Christmas LeBron 8s, for sure. So I ended up making the trade with them. The South Beach LeBron 8s started to skyrocket in price. I was out at college. I never knew they were still sitting here back in Portland, and I was just sitting on a gym. When I got back home, it was like the best day ever. I had taken the $160 that I had purchased the Christmas version for, and that was a trade for the LeBron 8. So now I had spent $160 on the LeBron 8, right? Because I did a straight across trade. Then I took that LeBron 8 and I seen that the price was going up. Next thing you know, the shoe's hitting for close to $1,000 and it wasn't in my size. It was actually a size too small and I couldn't fit the shoe at all. So I was like, the best thing I can do is use this sneaker for trade bait to then go out and buy or trade another shoe to get something that I want in my size. So a shoe that I had highly coveted, always wanted, was a black laser four. I had already just picked up the white laser four and I wanted to complete the pack with the black laser four, yet these were oh so hard to get. And this shoe now and this day for dead stock price is gonna go for around a thousand dollars. At the time, this was back in 2010, I think maybe close to 2011, they were going for close to 600 bucks. And I was like, that's lower than the price of my LeBron 8s, yet the LeBron 8s don't fit me and I really want this shoe. So I hit up the guy and he was like, yeah, I got these for sale. I, they're worn once. And I'm like, okay, look, I'll give you South Beach LeBron 8 and you give me these and 200 bucks. And the dude's like, you know what? Actually, I can make that deal. So, he, cause he really wanted those South Beaches. And I'm like, this is perfect. This is perfect because I had spent only 160 bucks and then I got $200 in cash plus this sneaker. So I ended up getting this shoe for free and profiting $40 in the long run. Now years go by and this sneaker is worth almost $1,000. It is worn, I wear it often. I wouldn't say often, but I do wear this shoe at least a couple times a year. The shoe came out in 2005, so it's a little bit older. I gotta make sure that I take care of it and I do wear it, make sure that the midsoles are right and everything's not cracking or crumbling. But I do rock the shoe, as you can see from the little bit of chipping on the paint. You're probably gonna see me wearing these at another sneaker event sometime this year. The yellowing on the toe is actually great. There's none really at all. I'm so happy about how great of a condition that I have kept these in over the years. Back on topic, this is basically how I did it. I traded one shoe for another, then I traded down, I guess you would say, plus cash, and ended up getting the shoe that I really, really wanted and made $40 in the total. The end of the day with this story is, and why I wanted to tell you guys this story, is show you that this is possible, you can do it, you gotta find the right trades, you gotta find the right people. It might take some time. It took me about a little over a year just to make all that come together and make it happen, but now look at from then to now over the past what eight years since I've had this shoe I still have the shoe that I want it's still worth a lot of money and I got it for free so if I were to sell this sneaker one day look how much money I'd be able to profit six seven eight hundred bucks depending on who I sell it to that's just kind of the things that I think about I personally probably plan on never selling this sneaker because I really really love this shoe but if you're looking at the long haul for flipping kicks and all those different things this is just another mindset and I kind of wanted to open you guys minds up to the trading process and kind of tell you some of the stories behind some of my shoes on how I traded for them and how I got them 
because a lot of people think that oh you got to cash out and do all these things to get a lot of shoes and in real actuality you don't need to cash out you don't have to do all those things and making some trades and, and oh i got this for that and and doing those things so open your mind open your thoughts and think about what you got what you can get and what it's worth and how you can trade for this and what you can trade up and if you clean the shoe how much more will it be worth after you clean it think about all those factors try to make those trades try to make those deals after you see this video please drop a comment on future videos let me know when you made that trade when you made that deal because I want to see you guys flourish. I want to see your collections grow because I'm telling you right now, I was a high school kid. My parents wasn't paying for none of my shoes. I had to earn every single thing that I have in this collection. I had to work hard for all this stuff, just like everybody else. So if you think that, oh yeah, you got all these shoes, it don't work like that. I had to work hard just like you guys. And I want to tell you guys how I did it, how I messed up, the things that I did good so you guys can learn, learn from my mistakes, learn from my failures, learn from my successes. So that way you guys can be successful too. So if you guys got anything from this video please don't forget to hit that subscribe button share this video to a friend that might need some help as well on working out a trade or different things like that and if you got any ideas or any other trades that you were trying to do drop a comment in the comment section you might be able to find somebody in the comment section that will be willing to make a trade for you and do stuff like that because I'm telling you you never know who's looking for what unless you put it out there on the internet and let people see because I guarantee you somebody else that's watching this video right now might be willing to make a trade with you so open up drop a comment say what's up to each other i hope this was helpful and i want to see you guys grow your collections as well i know i've been talking so much about this because i really want to see you guys flourish with your shoe collections go out there and flex have a bunch of sneakers get all them things cop all the cribs that you want drive the cars that you want we're gonna talk about that we're gonna make it happen each and every day you and me come on let's get it